Hello everyone and welcome to another Your Kids Bits of Bob Home Tech. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my two Android boxes. Tell you whether I think one is better than the other. And I'll tell you at the end, alright? So uh, with that, shall we get on with it? So this is the uh, T95Z Plus. And I've probably had this uh, the least amount of time. About a year or so. Or just over a year I reckon I've had it now. And I've, I like the design, and that's one of the reasons I actually bought it when I was looking for another Android box. I actually thought, oh, that looks pretty cool. And they're both similar in spec. This has a uh, three gig of RAM and 32 gig of ROM. This also has three gig of RAM, but only 16 gig of ROM. In fact, this one is, was dearer to buy than this one. Don't ask me why, whether it's because it was the, when I bought it, it's probably, a uh, fairly new model back then whereas uh, I believe this one had been out for quite a while before I bought it so basically they're, they're very similar in that respect obviously the ROM is a big difference but it's, it's never seemed to make any difference to me you can put Kodi on both of them if you want to uh, put Kodi on them they both accept it uh, you might have to change some of the settings in, in both of them to accept some parts of Kodi because it some parts come from outside the app store so you just have to go into the settings and, uh, and allow you know, external uh, software to be installed at your risk by the way so it's up to you whether you want to do that I've had no issues whatsoever with doing that and I've done it loads of times also things like Streamio if you ever use Streamio they will, that will work on either one of them and probably most Android TV boxes it's, them sort of software normally works on any any of them so any hardware like that they should be fine gaming i'm not too sure about like i said i haven't played no games on them so what i'll do now i'll, I'll quickly do a tour around so you can see what you get so on the uh t95z plus you have usb one uh network uh, capabilities which when I'm using this, I actually uh, use it in there, in there. I actually just plug in the cable. It has Wi-Fi in there, they both have Wi-Fi. Uh, this has built-in area, whereas that has an external area, as you can see. So uh, they're both Wi-Fi. Uh, optical, so for your, your sound. And then coming around the side a bit more, you have your power cable. You have a HD uh, connection. Obviously you want HD, because they both do 4K TV, by the way. Uh, an AV connection and then coming around a bit further you have a USB 2 and a memory card reader which is handy so that's it that's it on that one and I think like I say I quite like the look of that one I'll plug that back in and then on the X92 it's slightly different connections uh, so you've got a, a larger memory card so it takes SD and MMC cards so it takes the bigger cards has four USBs and I've actually got my uh, key, my little keypad, this one here. I've actually got that plugged into this at the moment. So it's a little dongle that goes in any one of these slots here. So that's why it's only showing a three plus one. And then again, you have your network cable, your optical, AV, HD, and uh, your, your power supply. And obviously an area on this one. So very similar, though this has more USB connections. Like I said, this has four, that one has two. Uh, USB one and USB two on that one. I'll plug them both in. And also, the uh, remote controls are slightly different in design, as you can see. So this one has a bit of color, a bit more color in, a different layout. Came with no instructions on the um, remote control and how to set it up to connect to your TV so you could adjust the volume on your TV. So I've never really looked into it, so I'm assuming the blue ones are for using it on your TV and you've got power on off button and stuff like that. But the, like I so there's no instructions that I see in my box on how to set this up and I've never bothered trying to find out because you know, the TV is normally on when I, if I want to use my Kodi box or my Android TV box. It's normally already on, so there's no need for me to do it. But if you want to find out, then I could do a video and have a look for it. Again, let me know in the comments. And this one is uh, very similar. You've 
got volume and mute buttons and stuff like that. And again, I don't know if it can connect to the TV or not and control your TV. So that's it on there. They both have little clocks on the front, as you can see. You can tell the time. Again, you can turn the, uh, I believe you can turn the clocks off, but I've never tried. You can turn the clocks off. I know you can turn this LED lighting off, the little strip. If you want to turn it off, there's a little bit of software inside, you can just turn it off. So, and I think you can adjust it just the uh, amateur, how quick it changes colours and things like that. On this one, I don't know, I think the X92 logo on the top, I think that's permanently on, but again, there's probably just a little bit of software in there. You can turn it on, because I've never bothered looking. And if you want a keyboard, I'd recommend something like this. It has a touch pad on the top as well, so you can use it like a laptop one, and it just plugs straight in. You can also get a keyboard that will do uh, multi-format, you know, not just for Android, but you can also use it on uh, Windows. You just flick a switch over whether you're going to be using it on a Windows uh, layout or a uh, Android, which is very good. So with that, my verdict is, it doesn't really matter. It's purely down to personal choice. If, you, if you're after a TV box where you can put things like Kodi on it or anything like that on there, or your Amazon Prime, anything like that. They both will do an excellent job. So I can't really tell you which one to get. Like I say, it's just purely down to personal choice. So both load up roughly about the same time, which is, um, it's about 35 seconds. I did time it once, so it doesn't take too long. The clocks look nice. They both look uh, pleasing to the eye, if you like. My personal choice is this one because I think it just looks a better design. N nothing to do with the internals. The internals are fine. The internals are fine on that. So it's up to you. So I just wanted to tell you what I thought of them and which one I recommend. And I can't choose between them. Like I say, the only thing I like, I think that one looks better looking, but they both will do an excellent job. So with that, if you have any comments, please post them below. If you want a bit more detail on these uh, uh, Android TV boxes or Kodi boxes, let me know and I'll uh, try and do an update and give you a better video in a, a late, uh, later date. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And uh, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.